Hey friends, today is another day. We have made it. We have made it to another day. Um, my name is Jija and I am an African folklore artist, writer, um, performer, educator, and also curator. And today we'll be doing a writing workshop together. All right with me. So we're going to start off the session um, with breathing. Um, and most practitioners use breathing as a way to center self, um, a way to just kind of keep us grounded. And so today we will be starting off the breathing just so that we're opening all the channels so that we're able to receive whatever creativity that we've blocked off in the past couple of days. And we're just able to just center ourselves in a way that will open us um, in ways that we will be willing to tell stories or find creativity within our own selves and even around us. So um, if we can just start at feet grounded, then you're going to make sure there's nothing in your hands and maybe have it rested on your by your side. And then you have every opportunity to close your eyes. And if you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes and you would rather um, keep them open, make sure you're looking at either a blank wall or something that you could just kind of just stare off in. Cool. And we're gonna take the next 10 minutes just to just kind of sit with ourselves. And if you can with me, just take your right hand and find your heartbeat and just monitor your heartbeat. Monitor if your heartbeat is going fast. And if your mind starts to wander, allow it. It's perfectly okay. Only thing I ask is that you don't judge it. That you don't try to monitor it or alter it, but you just allow it to sit within your mind as the image comes. And if it floats away and something else comes along, that is also fine, but just allow it. And at this time, you may hear things. Maybe you're breathing, or maybe you hear birds chirping outside, or even the air ventilator just kind of blowing. Or even just silence. Take a moment to just sit and take it all in. Maybe you hear kids playing. Maybe you hear peak conversations going. So we do this writing workshops here 
imagining all of these things. I want you to think about what you want by the end of this workshop. Times that you open yourself up to creativity, whatever that looks like. Radically imagining. gonna do breathe in I'm gonna count to three and we're gonna breathe in together so that's one two three breathe in one two three breathe out this breathe in exercise, I want you to breathe in all the things. I want you to imagine yourself thinking of the things that you need in order to be your best self this week. And even if it doesn't look like showing up as your best self, but things that you know you healthily need. And as I'm breathing in, I want you to imagine all of the things that you need in order to embrace the healthy you, what that, whatever that looks like. Showing up as the most healthiest you can to speak. I want you to imagine yourself breathing those things. Is it more love, patience, discipline? Is it more rest, more grace? Whatever it is, imagine yourself breathing in those things. And when you breathe out, I want you to imagine the things that hinder you from showing up as your most healthiest self, as your most best self. Whenever you breathe out, I want you to imagine yourself breathing those things out. So one, two, three, breathe in. One, two, three, breathe out. One more time. One, two, three, breathe in. One, Two, three, breathe out. And if your eyes aren't already open, I ask that you bring your mind back and then open them. And hopefully that exercise helped, and I think it's a moment. It's an exercise to do, um, a, a daily practice to do just to to keep yourself a bit grounded, um, even if the grounding isn't something that you totally imagine. I hope that that helped. Great. We are going to start off with an exercise we like to call Breathe, Stretch, Shape. One of my favorite motivational speakers, um, who is a powerful speaker, by he goes by the name of Mace. He said one thing, he said, breathe. He said, stretch. He said, shake. Let it go. All right. So we are going to do that activity together. Um, and this is our way of just opening our channels so we could be creative as much as possible. So we could radically dream, radically imagine um, without any limitations. So if we were to create an exercise of what breathing looks like, what would that look like? Show me. Beautiful. For me, it would look like... <sighs> And then if we were creating an exercise, uh, whatever, a choreography of what stretching looks like, what would that look like? So I'm gonna, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And what about shake? How does that go? Ooh, shake. And what about let it go? I like this one. Ugh. Let it go. All right, so I'm gonna call it out to you and you are going to do the moves after I say them. Are you ready? Beautiful. Breathe. Stretch. Great. Shake. Ooh. Ooh. And let it go. Breathe. Stretch. 
shake and let it go one more time breathe stretch i'm gonna stretch my back out in a minute and shake and let it go so once you catch your breath um it is now time to get our creative juices flowing and i'm really excited and honored uh to do this activity with you guys so whenever you are ready let's let's go whenever you are ready let's let's go first question i want to ask you um with your notebooks open <clears throat> is how are you um most times i think we rush to answer this question most times we don't really have enough time to really ask ourselves how are we doing so at this very moment i want you to kind of reflect on that so we're going to take the next minute to just sit on what it is that we're feeling and how are we um what is going on in our mind what are we feeling um at this very moment not yesterday not tomorrow but today at this very moment how are you feeling so i'm going to take a minute and then you get to answer that in your notebook. So once you answer that, um, that is yours to sit with. Um, and I do this check-in every single day. So every day, start your day by, by asking you, how are you? And write in a journal. Um, I know a lot of people have gratitude journals that they write in, which I think is a beautiful practice to put in your day. Um, but sometimes also asking yourself, how are you? is uh, a good enough question to be able to keep yourself, <clears throat> to ask yourself if this is something that you're trying to transform or keep and explore for the day. So begin with the question, how are you? It's important that when you ask yourself how you are, that you don't judge it, uh, that you don't try to alter it or try to find some sort of light within it, but really, um, really ask yourself how you are doing in order to check in with yourself so that you know how to tackle your day, you know how to um, address yourself properly and put yourself in a position in which you're not forcing anything. So if, for example, if I woke up today and I'm not in the best mood um, and I'm full of confusion, maybe a bit of anger, maybe annoyance, then my question would be to myself is, how are you? And I won't try to judge it. I won't try to say, oh, but there are better days or I'm privileged in this area or, um, but I should be grateful about this. There is no judgment. You just write down how you feel and you sit with it. First exercise that we'll be doing is a personification exercise. This was inspired by Anita B where we use metaphors. But this one is personification, which is, happens to be my favorite literary term. So with personification, <clears throat> personification is um, using a non-living thing and adding per person-like qualities, um, characteristics to the non-living thing. So here are a couple examples of what personification is. The jacket hung on like it was his last day. The sun peeked into her room just to see what she was doing. The paper hung over, stretched and tired. Okay, so now that you have what a personification is, it is your turn. Now, sitting in the room that you are sitting in, whatever, it may be a room, it may be outside, wherever you are, I want you to look at something that, an object, something that's non-living. Once you find that thing, let me know, okay? I'm going to give you a second to look around the room. All right, cool. Now that you found that thing, I want you to give it a person like characteristics. Once you find those five things, then we'll come back. Cool? I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, I hope you used as much creative juices as possible. And um, now that you have five different personification, um, share them with someone online and see if they're if they can guess what it is. Um, and if it isn't a generic thing that we normally don't see, give us some clues. Um, but let's see if we can all guess it. So the next activity requires you to have a sheet of paper. It can be a computer paper. Um, then you're gonna fold it into two sides, so hamburger style, then um, fold it again. So you have four equal parts, and it would look like so. So once you have your four parts, you're just going to tear the piece of paper so you have four equal boxes in your hand.
you're gonna take two of these papers and in these two papers, I want you to think about things that you want to receive. In the breathing exercise that we did earlier, we talked about things that we want to receive. And I don't mean tangible things. I don't mean things that you could buy at the store or even people. Um, people, I mean, things that you have the power to control. For example, I know that I want to receive a bit more discipline. Maybe patience is my answer. Maybe I want to receive patience in my own life. And I would write that thing down. I would write down patience on my paper. Okay? So once we write our two things that we want to receive, on the other two papers, I want you to think about what you want to release. And you're thinking about this as far as being in your own body um, and also understanding that you have the power to evolve. You have the choice to evolve. And that thinking about my body as in being my most healthy self, showing up as my most, most best self. What do I need to release and what do I need to receive, okay? So in our next two papers, we're gonna write down what we want to, what we choose to release. What are we choosing to release, okay? I know for me, <laughs> Lord, Lord, <laughs> I know that I personally want to release the fear. Fear of doubt, fear and doubt. Okay, those are two things that I struggle with that I know I want to consistently release, all right? So I want you, to, yeah. So let's take a second to think about what those things are. I'll give you guys 10 minutes, cool? All right, friends, it has been 10 minutes and we've sat with our, what we choose to release and what we're choosing to really re release and receive. Come on, get it together. Um, what we're choosing to release and what we're choosing to receive. So I have this jar here and this jar is the release jar and I keep it around my house. And consistently, whenever I go to workshops, I always keep everyone's what they choose to release and what they're choosing to receive. But I want you to imagine yourself, maybe create your own jar, but I want you to imagine yourself putting in what you're choosing to release and what you're choosing, what you're choosing to release in this jar. So here's the, here's the but. <laughs> when you put this in your jar, this is not a magic trick. It doesn't automatically go away. However, you have the power to consistently imagine yourself releasing this. So when fear or doubt or insecurities or even hate or even um, ego comes into play, you are imagining yourself releasing this at every single moment. So when this comes up for you, you release it, right? So what, imagine yourself putting it into this jar or even creating your own. And once placed in the jar, you're going to always remind yourself that you have the power to choose. You have the power to choose. Cool. Now it's time for receiving. In these moments, I consistently remind myself that I also have the power to receive these things. And so I want you to imagine yourself putting it into this beautiful brown jar. I don't even know if this is what I would call it, but into this bucket here. And I want you to imagine yourself putting it in here. And keep in mind, once again, that this is not a magic trick. But you do have the power to consistently remind yourself to choose these things. Great job. Great job for choosing. Which leads us to our last writing exercise. Our last writing exercise begins with I choose. So beginning with I choose, I want you to write out a list of things that you're, you're deciding that you want to choose in your own life. I choose to be honest, to show up as my full self, even if that full self does not look like what others' ideas of me is in their mind. What do you choose? So for the last couple of minutes, I want you to think about what you're choosing to do. And in your notebook, I want you to write down what you are choosing to do. In this beautiful piece that you have written, I Hope that you get to share it with someone, but most importantly, share it with yourself. So at this very moment, although this video is ending, I challenge you to look yourself in the mirror and read it to yourself. You could yell it to yourself. 
You could whisper it to yourself. You could sing it to yourself. But I challenge you to really read it to yourself. And maybe post it in a place that you could see every day. And every day that you show up, whether it be for your family, whether it be for your friends, whether it be for your coworkers, I challenge you to show up for yourself in that way. Create what choosing looks like. And remember, do not give yourself any judgment. In every moment, give yourself grace. You deserve that. And you deserve the power to choose. I hope you enjoyed this writing workshop. Uh, we will be coming to you weekly. Um, and so thank you 